Okay, uh, we have one last person we're going to speak to, only a few minutes left on the show. His name, I love this name because my name is Adam and my mom's maiden name is Deutsch. Uh, so we're going to talk to Adam Deutsch over in Jackson, New Jersey, uh, central New Jersey by the shore. I don't know him. I've never met him, never spoke to him before now. And I just like what he says on Facebook. So let's just get his thoughts for the next three minutes or so. Adam, what's going on? Uh, I mean, we got a world that's practically on fire. Uh, it's just, it just, just doesn't seem like it ever, uh, ever wants to end, you know? Uh, yeah, what you had some angry stuff on Facebook that was made me say, this is my kind of guy uh, about Manchester. What does that say to you? Like, what about the world's ineptness in dealing with this, or at least Western Europe's ineptness in dealing with uh, the Muslim threat? Oh, it, it's just phenomenally uh, terrible. I mean, you know, we, we we keep inviting these you know people into these countries, and you know they they keep on committing the same acts, and you know I, it's just this fallacy that we think it's ever going to change, and the reality is it, it it will not, and we keep inviting it, and it keeps happening, and you know it just seems like nobody ever wants to learn our lesson, you know, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. And it's. How about the liberals you have to deal with? I don't think you have a t too so soft a spot in your heart for them and the way they react after a tragedy. I don't like, not even a tragedy, a jihad attack like this. Oh, uh, you can't because I, they they are the way they are and they will not back down ever. And, you know, they're the kind of group that likes to, you know, fight basically with whatever fire they have. And, you know, and our position as conservatives should, should be, well, okay. You want to play that game? We'll fight with a bigger fire. I mean, that's that's really how you combat it. I don't see any other way around it. What did you think of uh, President Trump's to the Middle East, or what we've seen of it so far? Uh, <laughs> there's there's some mixed thoughts on it, uh, for sure. Um, you know, I I think he presents himself certainly as a better uh, leader than you know our our previous uh, administration does, and you know he's uh, received. Uh, in these countries, a lot better than uh, he was, obviously. Uh -huh. So, are you following you know, the Seth? Hell... Are you following the Seth Rich story at all? We only have like another minute left. Uh, I read a little bit about it. I haven't really been following it uh, that closely. All right. Any other thoughts that are on your mind today about the news, about the world, or any just wisdom you want to share? Uh, you know what it is. I mean, you know, stuff like the Manchester, you know, incident just drives me crazy. And here's the reason why. I mean, here you have this pop singer who's, you know, I'm sure has lots of adoring, millions of adoring fans. And but you know, this is a woman much like Celine Dion, you know, at one of her concerts many years ago, who said in French to all of her fans, you know, I hate America. So I mean, you know, here you have, you know, this young girl who's, again, a pop singer, and says the same thing. So why are we to have pity for this woman? I mean, you get what you deserve. Well, she wasn't one of the victims. Uh, the people were, but, yeah, another story. And, and as sad as that is, it, you know, it is what it is. I mean, we can't ignore that. It is sad and a tragedy, but we keep welcoming it in, so it's nobody's fault but ours. Yep, and she, of course, tweeted about what a tragedy it was when Trump got elected. Anyhow, I have to let you go now, Adam Deutsch. It's nice talking to you and nice sort of meeting you right now, and I look forward to keep in touch with, keeping in touch with you in the future. Great job with your posts, et cetera, and thanks for coming on with me today. Same here, buddy. Thanks a lot.